Hey, cheers, Jamie. Thank you so much for getting online it's, with us. And, it's and morning so, over here. So. Yeah, thank you for sitting down and taking some time out from uh, all the craziness that's still happening over there in Cape Town and talking to us about the experience of the Red Bull, man. You did amazing coming from, uh, from yeah, not even going to be in the event to getting in and then ending up on the podium, mate. What an experience. My only goal at first was to get in the quota from the Porsche Gold ticket and, yeah, just get in the competition. But I got a little further. Yeah, man. Epic. Amazing. Yeah, the, the conditions just couldn't have been any better for you guys. Um, yeah, talk us through what you were thinking and how the heart was pumping on the day. We had to go to the riders area, pump our kites. The, our adrenaline started kicking in. Um, and we didn't know how strong it was uh, going to blow. Uh, but we knew that it was going to be strong, really strong. Yeah. So um yeah i definitely hoped on the wind that we got so i could ride my seven really overpowered and just go for uh, a lot of height with my tricks because um yeah that's where i uh shine with uh, getting a lot of height in the proper 50 knots uh gusting sessions so i hoped on that wind and i got it so that was perfect the uh, Edge V11 just sending it, man. How high do you reckon you were going on the day? Uh, I think my highest trick, that was my 9.08, I think. Um, I think it was 22 or something, 10, 23. Jamie, it was. It was high. It was vertical. The first nine-point score of the 2022 King of the Air. Jamie, that contra of his was very aggressive. It was high. Oh, that's high. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely for a, a trick like that. <laughs> yeah, that is a hundred percent commitment. That's for sure. So, pretty amazing to be riding with all those uh, with the with the older guys. I mean, everyone's been talking about it. The the young the young generation have taken over. Yeah. It must have been pretty amazing riding against um you know all the all the guys you probably looked up to when you first started riding. You had, you had a heat <laughs> against Mark Jacobs, last year's winner as well. Um, it wasn't exactly, at it, <laughs> not that any of the heats are easy, but it's not exactly, you didn't exactly have an easy ride through that, through it, man, but you just smashed it. It was unbelievable. Now, I was just going in that heat with Mark and Andrea from like, I'm definitely not going to win this one, but I'm not out if I lose this one because I can get a, another round. To yeah. get myself back in the competition, but then I was riding so well and I just won it. Yeah, so definitely wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, amazing. And then yeah, making it all the way to the final. I mean, man, you must have been just ah. excited. Yeah, <laughs> I was when I uh, was uh, in the final. Um, I was really thinking by myself, I'm in the final, I don't care anymore. But yeah. then the other rider said, you're in the final, you can still win. And then I thought, yeah, I have to do my best and uh, let's see. Awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, no, it was pretty, pretty, so good to see, man. And what were your favorite tricks that you did in the comp? Um, yeah, um, the laid back board of feels amazing. Uh, but I think my favorite tricks in the comp were the uh, doobie loop board off with a late front and the triple front hole contra board off. And I mean, you like talking kites, you were you were obviously on the you're on the seven meter edge, and then you're swapping yes. over swapping over to the six meter enduro. Yes. Yeah. And which uh, kite do you prefer from the Enduro and the Edge, like in comparison? Um, the Edge just goes way higher uh, and catches you uh, more in the down loop than the Enduro. Nice. But the Enduro is way faster and a bit more stable. And how about Cape Town? What are your favorite spots there? I like uh, Kite Beach, Blauberg uh, a lot, but... I think the perfect training locations are more like Langebaan on a good day or Hermanus because it's flat water. You like flat water more than kickers? Yes. Yes. Yeah? 
Why? You can train way better in them. Uh, your kite loops more consistent because you are not hitting the wave and slowing down your kite. Yeah. Um, and you can jump way more than on the sea. You have to find the kicker on the sea, uh, get through the current, back to your uh, spot where you're going uh, Yeah, again for a jump. So it takes way longer and you can only jump uh, half of the times that you can do on flat water. So I like flat water way more. So when you did the wo the woo record, did you do it off on flat water or on the kicker? I did it on the flat water. Not really flat water. It was super choppy, but it was so strong that it didn't matter. And I just yeah. got the high. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think flat water jumps higher than uh, with a kicker. You can also jump really high with a kicker, but with the perfect uh, takeoff, I think flat water can go higher. Nice. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for your time. No doubt you're pretty busy over there and there's lots going on. But um, yeah. yeah, come see us. We'll show you what it's all about down here in the uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. And keep having fun. Yeah. And cool, enjoy man. Keep, down. keep sending it. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys too. Bye. Ciao. Enjoy your day. Bye bye. And uh, in third place, we have we are from Italy. Italy. Andrea. Andrea. And. and in second, in second place, place, coming in from, in from the fourth gold ticket, ticket, Lucky, Lucky Star, Star Jamie, Jamie Overbay! Absolutely, Absolutely going, going massive. massive. Big, Big round, round of applause, applause for these guys. guys. And then, and then the, guy the guy who went the, the absolute, absolute biggest, biggest in this event, event and, and definitely deserves this round. It's Lorenzo Cassati!